Christian Standard Bible. Um, and it's a praise of a capable wife. And it says all these things that she does. She wears so many hats. I'm looking at her and I'm like, well, this is me. Wow. Um, she has a husband. I have a husband. I reward him with good. I never speak evil against my husband. Ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, and never. Infinity, guys. Never, ever, 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 ever. No matter what's happened. And if you've left the house and you're in a fight, you love him. You speak well of him at all times and at all places just like we do with our King, with our Lord. So, yes, my boss. Love my boss. Yes, I do. But oh, isn't it hard, Kat? You got a new boss now. Wow, what are you going to do now? I love her. I speak life from my tongue. Everything I speak will become. Remember that, guys. What I speak will become. So I speak good, not evil. I speak, I speak joy, not sorrow. So yeah, she's great. Oh no, she I heard oh no. She's great. No, I got it. I got going on here. Uh-uh. We have been and people are having trouble finding meetings with her. I am favored. Yes, because what did I pray in the morning? Lord, I have favor. So I have favor with her. We spent an hour and a half yesterday. Wow, wasn't that unheard of? Because what did I do as a Proverbs 31 woman? I put him first. So when I wake up in the morning, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Me and my husband, that's what we do. We pray every morning. Whether he's there or not, we pray with him. That's a must. So even if you don't have a husband, get a prayer partner. Pray every morning. Every morning. Because that sets the tone. Does it not set the tone? Amen. Yes, it does. You can attest with me. Amen. Yeah. It sets the tone. Yeah. Because what it does, it sets your morning. Yeah. It gives you the first fruits. It gives you the peace, the joy. I'm going to start my morning off because I've already spoken life into it. And I'm just going to walk in it because, guess what? I've already set the time. It's already been done. So we see in Proverbs 31, if you want to turn to Proverbs 31, I'm kind of concentrating on, on select things here. But this man is writing about his wife and also about his mother. But he's also saying she is so precious. Do you know what she does? She rewards her husband with good, not evil. She's talked so well about him. She goes out and she'll buy things. See, I'm an entrepreneur. I have been. So it kind of reminded me of when you got customers, guess what? You're going to follow through, right? That's what she's saying here. I buy the stuff, I make it, and I give it to them. Come on now. You got to learn to follow through on things. If you say you're going to do something, guys, please do it. If you can't do it, ring, not a text, ring. It's a text. Because texts don't always get read. That's it. I'm in the middle of some, in, I'm in an accident or what? Well, God forbid. I'm in the middle of a traffic jam. Can't get there in time. I'm going to miss this first part of the meeting. Could you cover for me? Just wanted to let you know. You don't have any idea what that means, not only to your boss, to your future boss, but to others who are watching you, what that means. Because that, set, again, sets the tone. It sets you apart. Because who are we? We are, we are daughters of the Most High. So we have excellence. We are his ambassadors. So we set the tone, guys. We set the tone. Don't let it set it for you. Don't. So she, she buys fields. She plants. She busy. Yeah. This woman is busy. She busy. So, like, when I'm not at church, and I'm at work, then I'm at work. But sometimes, when I'm with my husband, I'm sorry, I have to be Casey, right? Because that's my husband, Apostle James. So sometimes, I look like this. And I got my little cap on when I'm with my husband. So I find time to do that. And again, you've got to make time. It's juggling. It's 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 not it's reaching out to others. I can do the homeless, I take care of them. I have so many hats, guys. But there's a season for every hat. And not it's like it's like so much. It's like she's not a, a gossiper, she's not an idler, she doesn't lie, she doesn't gossip, gossip, gossip is so bad. Please guys, don't gossip. Please. You know what I've learned? God is like I can't bless you when you start gossiping. Because it's so easy. But you know what I heard? Oh, girl, I know what I heard. She, you know, she don't lose her job. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. 
no, no, no. Walk away. Yeah. Say, you know what? I think you have a really, you got the wrong number. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you got yeah, the yeah, wrong yeah. number, girlfriend, because I'm going to walk away on this. It's hard, guys, because that's how that will get you in. And I had to say, no, I'm not talking about nobody no more. I'm only going to, what we do, uplift them. We're going to pray for them. We pray for those who persecute us. And believe me, I got some haters on my team. They hate, but that's okay. Because they become what? My footstools. I just keep praying. I just, oh. <laughs> they become my footstool. Yes. So, so ask yourself, am I a Proverbs 31 woman? Look inside. Are you a Proverbs? And if not, Lord, what can I? I mean, I've even asked myself going through this. What have I done, Lord? What can I do better? Because I can always improve myself. I can always improve myself. Um, in other words, time management. Time management is so important when you got many hats. Do you guys know what time management means? Because I did, okay, I'm just gonna be real with you because I can deal with when I'm real with it, right? So I can't, this is what I'm talking about. I have a schedule and I didn't bring it with me because it's so near and dear to me, I don't wanna lose it, okay? But this schedule has 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. whenever I have to start all the way to the bottom. And I know it's, I, ha I write it out. I don't just use my iPhone, I write it out. So I know exactly what I need to do the next day. I have to do lists, okay? What I have to do the next day. And guess what? They change hourly sometimes. Yes. But and I don't have to get everything done every single day. That's just because right. it's on my to-do list doesn't right. mean you gotta get it done, okay? You just know that, okay, this is on my mind. Lord, you brought it to my attention. Okay, I need to do something about it. I keep sending myself texts to my email at work. And that's how I, I remind myself. I, text myself at work. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it does work, especially when I've been working 12 hours a day. When I worked during the Republican National Convention, that was an awesome thing. I was in the Emergency Operations Center, which was like the brain of what was going on downtown. I worked 12, 13 hour days for eight days straight almost. God is able. God is able. Because he gave me favor with who? My director, who did what? I said, well, you know what? You look tired, girl. You need to go home. Okay. And guess what I did? I went home and went to sleep. <laughs> so favor. I always pray for favor. But it's really, really important. I've had to release this in my life because uh, it's so easy for me to be like a workaholic and work and work and work and work and work. And then my husband says, I'm here. Come on. So I have to make time for my baby. So, yeah. So everything in its portion of time. Everything, family, friends, jobs, church, you know, everything fits together. Don't think that it can't. Because he's, what did he do? He made us wonderfully made. I mean, he made us in his image. So that's our daddy. So we know that we're going to be, we can do it. He's given it to us. Just go through. Just keep going. Don't give up. Keep pressing. Don't ever look back. I learned from my mistakes. But don't ever, don't go back there. Don't let Satan take you back there, because it's gone. Don't. Mm -mm, don't. Mm -mm. Um, um, okay, this is what I do every day. I prioritize. So I know you all have your iPhones, the way that you're taking your notes, right? So I want you to do me a, a huge favor today. Just write down. Take a minute, just one second, just one second. Write down what you need to do today. What do I need to do today? What has to be done today? And for me, as a businesswoman, as an elder, as a this and a this and a this and a that, um, I have to make my list. Well, maybe that's the, the part of me that I don't want. But it's a little strange sometimes, but it helps. So if you don't, it's okay. Maybe you want to read the word. It doesn't have to be job related. It could be, I need to read the word today, I need to pray, because without prayer, without reading the word, without praising him, worshiping him, you're going to be stuck. And I found myself stuck for a couple of years. And then he had to get me. And he had to say, oh, I'm going to shake you up a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to shake you up because I'm preparing you for what? For greatness. Right. And in order for him to do that and for me to push through, I had to be more intimate with my father. Thank you. Yes. And so what I had to do was spend more time with him. It's my time at night. That's what I do. Now my husband does it in the morning. I do it at night. 
has to. It's one of the things I promised my, my father a long time ago when I said yes to him. I will never go to bed without saying goodnight to you. I spend time with him. And I spend communion. That's what our communion, our intimacy is. My father, yes, the Lord. I said, Lord Jesus, this is our day today. What This is what happened. This is what I need to pray about. This is what I'm going to praise you about. And I'm not going to complain because I learned not to complain. Because when you complain, you can't do a thing with it. You can't do nothing with no complaining. Amen. Stop whining and complaining about stuff that you can't change. Because guess what? He wants that in your life because he's iron sharpening iron. He's working it out in you. So I used to complain about this, that, and the other. Oh, she did this to me. Oh, look at this. I kind of working on another 12. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to have a ministry that much. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. And once you understand there's praise in that instead of a complaint, yeah. you'll be like, that's the gap. You'll get right over it. But I had to learn that. I had to learn to praise him through the stuff. Lord, I just had to pay another car. I had to pay another car. I went to a parking garage, and yes, it was a barrier. And I didn't see the barrier. I crashed into the little parking thing. So I'm like, okay, Lord, more. I have to go to the car fix. So I got my car fixed, and I'm like, Lord, I'm not going to complain about this. It's, it's money I don't have right now, but we're going to have it. So guess what? He did. He found it. Because I praised him for it. I didn't complain about it. I didn't complain. So stop whining and complaining. He don't have no time for that, and neither do you, okay? So one of the things I did find out to delegate. Y'all know how to delegate? Amen. Yes. Do you know how to delegate? Because we are women of God, and we can do it all. We are super women. We can do this. No. No, 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 no. God. Thank you, Jesus. Because it's so important to delegate. Well, I can't trust that person. They're going to do it like me. Come on, yeah. come on. That's right. Yeah. Trust that he knows. He knows. When I say trust that God will allow that person to complete that task. Mm -hmm. That if he's put that person in your path or in your team or whatever it is, in your neighborhood, in your house, that he's going to get done. And then you can go do other things. Like I have someone clean my house. I've had many, many years. I ain't got no time for that right now. Uh -oh, I ain't got no time for that. So guess what? She comes every other week. And it's a beautiful thing. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so again, again, seek first the what? The kingdom. And all of these things will be added. So seek him first. Matthew 6.33. Um, and then 2 Corinthians 5.9. So whether we're home or away, we make it our aim to what? To please him. So when you look at a situation, you go, oh, Lord, I don't know what to do. I please him. I just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You know. Sometimes all I can say is Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And guess what? He gets it done. He, he does it. So I'm going to ask you, do you crave his word? Do you crave him? Do you crave him? To spend that intimacy, that intimate time with him? Do you crave it? Because you need to set aside time for him. Journaling, I know I talk about that. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I'm just being honest. But I spend, I have to spend at least 15, 20 minutes every day, every day with him. It's a it's a date that I never, ever, ever miss. Never, never. Do you crave his voice? Have you not heard from him lately? I keep hearing the song, what have you done for me lately? Uh-uh, no. No, it don't work like that. Because his voice, sometimes I'll go, be going through the desert, and I don't hear him like I used to, and I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm going through a test, huh? So that means I got to go through this test because if I don't go through the test, it's going to keep repeating and I don't want that to happen. So guess what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pressing. I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to keep praising. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep speaking the word over my own life. Speak over yourself. Okay? Because that's how I get it done. That's how we get it done. Me and him, it's a team effort. I don't do it. No, 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 no. I sing praises to him. That's why I call it the praise mobile. Yeah, my praise mobile. Because that's all I do is praise him to and from wherever I have to go. <clears throat> I have to. So I, I never, ever, ever give up on him. Never give up. Never give up. Never hang up. Never hold up. Never give him a hold. Death, don't ever. When he starts speaking, you better listen. Just sit there and listen, please. 
and sometimes you just gotta be quiet. And I had to learn to make myself quiet. For the longest time, I was so busy. Yes. I mean, busy, busy. Busy is not good always busy. Because yeah. you're just busy to be busy. Yeah. Right. And that's not good. Amen. So sometimes I had to find that, what is it, balance between my husband, seeing the grandkids, and seeing other kids, and then, oh, seeing other family, and my mama, and then my daddy. And I'm like, okay, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do this. Because I have to sometimes work weekends. So, okay, well, I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out. And that's how I have to feel. Because he's always got me. Just like he has you. Y'all feeling me? Awesome. It's quiet. That's good, though. But, I mean, just because you're going through doesn't mean, when I say what you're going through, just because you're going through something doesn't mean that you need to give up. Don't ever give up on God because you know he won't give up on you. He's got this. He's got you. Always, 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 always got you. He said he would what? Never leave you nor forsake you. And that is, I got a call last November. I'm going to tell you my testimony, a little bit of how I got this official job. Didn't ask for it. But I've been praying for elevation, praying every, this is my year of elevation. Thank you, Jesus. The prayer of Jabez, First Chronicles 4.10. I pray that twice a day, every day, every day, every day. Thank you, Lord, for my abundance. Thank you, Lord, for giving me all I need before I ask a thing. Thank you, Lord, for my favor on my life. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for that elevation. So guess what? I got a call. And it was a chief that she reports directly to the mayor. She said, I want to offer you something. I said, what's that? She said, I want to offer you the commission job. And I started crying and I dropped the phone. So <laughs> I dropped the phone. And I'm like, okay, Lord. And I said to her, I've been praying this. I just want you to know. I've been praying this about a year and I, I received so that's how I got it didn't interview didn't call nobody uh, didn't make no calls you, didn't Lord give them no resume didn't hey, give them no interview signs come on Lord, Lord we were God so I just tell you yes. pray without ceasing yeah. don't ever give up on God because he ain't never going to give up on you I don't care what it looks like I don't care if you're in the middle of something that you're like illness Whatever it is, job loss, job, whatever it is, you're there for a reason. God has put you there for a reason, a season. There's a meaning behind it. Don't ever give up. Don't ever. It's like I never, ever now, I, I affirm myself. That's what I do. I affirm myself every day because I know he loves me. I affirm myself through saying thank you for my abundance. Thank you in advance for all that you're going to do through me today, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for all that you're going to bring in my path. That are going to be blessed because of what you're going to say to me. I thank you, Lord, for this. I thank you, Lord, for favor for my boss, for the mayor. I thank you, Lord, for everybody that and I have to, you know, all the team. I, I pray for each one of them for anything that they're going through, Lord. And that's yes. how I start my day. Thank you. Okay? I'm sowing seeds. Like the Proverbs 31 woman, but I'm sowing a different type of seed. It's a seed Amen. of life. Of, of, of okay encouragement and love because for the longest time my staff didn't have that they have bitterness and strife and hatred and I'm replacing that with love Amen. Thank so you. I'm just thankful for me Ooh, being a vessel glory to God. you all I'm going to speak into your life that you're all going to be those Thank vessels you, and you're here to hear this Amen. please do it that's it that's right Hallelujah. Um, uh, yes 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 uh, he's, I've learned to take it one day at a time yeah. he's only promised one day, that this is the day the day has made. He has made. Let us rejoice in what? Be glad in it. Yeah. He has only promised us this day. So don't worry about tomorrow. So you know what I do at work? This is how I do at work and at home. I, I take my list, right? This is what I got to do today. So if I have a meeting tomorrow, I don't prepare for it until the end of the day. So I get all my little folders out, and my little meeting agendas, all that stuff. I do that the day that that day before I leave. So I know what I got for me is ready and waiting when I come in the next morning. You can do that at home. The same thing if you work at home or what have you do. Same thing. You prepare it so it's already done. So when you come in the next morning, I don't got to go fish around, look for It's there. So I'm my own little personal assistant. Because <laughs> I don't have any assistant. So I'm everything. And, and, that, and that really... Um, that works for me. I make a list again for the day. Emergencies will come up, guys. We all know this, the women of God and the men in the back. We, we are women and men of God, so do emergencies come up? No AC in one building, okay. So I juggle. 
that's where my juggler act come in. <laughs> you don't juggle, like you in a boxing ring, and I'm going to, okay, Lord, you can't, Satan, you can't touch this because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. So you've already prayed about it, already put that out there, so guess what? It's already done. Yeah. So I never ever, so when I go to my director, director goes, guess what, we don't have no AC in this one place, but it's already all right, because I'm telling you, they're working on this, and this is what's going to happen. We're going to have it on by like 2 o'clock this afternoon. Guess what happens? It's on at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. See what happens? Your life, this is your life right here. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I want you to thank you guys for so much. I love you. This remember, be a Proverbs 31 woman. Um, this remember, things are start getting rocky. Hold on to him. He will always. All right, my time is up. Thank you.